many a hardened criminal has sought to learn the true identity of Batman. But it was a young, freckle-faced boy who came closer than all the schemers of the underworld to exposing Bruce Wayne. Indeed, Batman finds himself with a handful of teenage trouble when he takes on the fake boy wonder. Late one night, Batman and Robin are returning from another successful foray against the underworld by way of their secret entrance into the darkened Bat Cave. Well, that was nice going tonight, Robin. If you hadn't arrived in time to grab Gorilla Hardy, it would have been the end of me. Yeah, but it's too bad Gorilla got away from us. Well, here we are. The secret entrance. I'll open the door with my belt radio remote switch. In you go, Robin. Well, the lights are out. I'll get the switch. Ah, be good to get out of these clothes now. Well, I hope Alfred's got some food ready for us. All that action worked up my appetite. Say, Robin, you haven't even started changing. What's holding you up? You haven't even taken off your mask. That's a little surprise I'm planning for you. Now, take a look. What? Why, you're not Robin. You mean I'm not Dick Grayson, the real Robin. This is crazy. You're a fake. Say, who are you and how did you get hold of that costume? Easy, easy. Let go my arm. Robin, uh, Dick Grayson, that is, was injured in his fight with Gorilla's men. He staggered to my house for help. He gave me this costume and asked me to replace him. You can just call me Freddy. What? Why, Robin wouldn't get... Oh, Alfred. Good evening. I have brought you and Master Dick some dinner. And it... He can't. That's not Master Dick. You're no more surprised than I am, Alfred. Now, let's have the truth, Freddy, or whoever you are. I told you the truth. My name is Fred Lloyd. I'm the son of Hank Lloyd, the Olympic decathlon champion. From the time I was five years old, Dad trained me in every possible kind of athletics. Running, jumping, pole vaulting, and aerial work. You see, it was fate that brought Robin to my door. I'm probably the only other boy who could perform his stunts. Oh, Mr. Wayne, that's the bat film. Yes, no time to talk now. You wait here till I return, Freddy. Wait nothing. I was good enough to help you get Gorilla Hardy, and I'm coming with you. Oh, no, you're not. Look, Bruce Wayne, I know your true identity now. So either I work with you, or I tell the world who you really are. Good heavens. What are you going to do? There's nothing I can do, Alfred. It's blackmail, and I've got to give in. All right, Freddy. Get into the Batmobile while I call headquarters. And Alfred, come with me. Faced with exposure of his greatest secret, Batman is forced to give in. With Freddy, the fake Robin in the Batmobile, they speed to the scene of a crime at the Gotham Amusement Park. Batman, we've got Gorilla Hardy trapped here in this house of mirrors. But we can't open fire without endangering innocent people. All right, Captain. Uh, Freddy, I mean Robin and I will see what we can do. Let's go, Robin. Now, don't take any chances. Just follow me. Don't worry, Batman. I can take care of myself. Boy, all these mirrors sure are confusing, though. Oh, there you are again, Batman. Duck, Robin. Uh, These mirrors. Which one of you is real? These mirrors give me an idea, Freddy. They're on wheels. Look, I can get behind one out of sight... And if I roll it carefully, I might get close enough to grab him. I'll find you, Batman. Stay down, Freddy. Here I go. All right, Robin. I see you down there on the floor. This is for you. Oh! And that's for you, Gorilla. And here's another. You got him, Batman. Batman, are you all right in there? We're fine, Captain, but I can't say the same for Hardy. He's out cold. Come and get him. After the capture of the criminal, Batman returns home, still accompanied by Freddy. A successful trip, Mr. Wayne. Yes, Alfred, Gorilla Hardy is safely behind bars. Well, Batman, now I guess you'll want to run over to my house and pick up the real Robin, huh? Oh, there's no hurry, Freddy. You proved tonight that you're as good a crime fighter as Dick. Right, Alfred? Oh, quite so, Mr. Wayne. Master Freddy has proved himself a fine Robin. 
What? After all the years together? Uh, a fine pair you two turn out to be, selling out your best friend. But, Freddy, we were only saying the truth. Yeah? Well, take a close look at my face. What? What? Freddy was wearing a mask. And underneath, Dick Grayson. Yes, it's me, the real Robin. I wanted to see if I was as good as you at disguises, and it sure worked. I had you both fooled. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's so funny? Dick, we knew it was you all along. But how? The disguise was perfect, wasn't it? The disguise was excellent, but you forgot one thing. Think back to when we first entered the Bat Cave tonight, Dick. You were the one who switched on the light, remember? Now, if you were a stranger here, you wouldn't have known where the light switch was in the dark. As soon as you pretended to be Freddy, the fake Robin, I realized what you were up to. I tipped Alfred off before we left and let you continue your game. <laughs> yes, Master Dick. We thought it would teach you a jolly good lesson. <laughs> I guess I learned it. You can't beat the Master of Disguise at his own game. Oh, cheer up now, Master Dick. You know that Batman would never have another boy wonder besides you. <laughs> <laughs>